Channel 2 News at 11. Women are slugging it out for the first time in the ring for the Golden Gloves Championship. That's all happening at Madison Square Garden tonight and tomorrow night. Channel 2's Vince Dementry has the ringside stories from tonight's bouts live for us. Well, Vince? Well, Dana, I can tell you it's very exciting. First night of the 68th annual Daily News Golden Gloves Championship fights right here at the Paramount. Big night for the fight fans. Big night for the male fighters. But an even bigger night for the female fighters. That's right, females. You see, tonight is one for the history books. The first female championship bout started off fast and furious for the 106-pounders. Seconds into the bout, 31-year-old Jill Matthews clocked 30-year-old D. Hamaguchi. It didn't last long. Two more standing eight counts, and the ref stopped the fight. And with that, Jill Matthews made history, becoming the first female to win the gloves in the 68-year-old Daily News Golden Gloves Tournament. If you're going to do it, this was the way to go. You know, I said, no matter what happens, I'm here, and it's, it's great. Colorful in and out of the ring, 31-year-old Matthews, a self-described hairdresser, punk rocker from Manhattan, says her boxing is about proving a point. You work so hard for things all your life, and you don't get recognition, and this is recognition. It feels good. Tough loss for Manhattan's 30-year-old Dee Hamaguchi. She got the ball rolling for women last year when she was the first to send in an entry form, only to find out she was the only one, but not this year. Hamaguchi also found out a college degree from Yale doesn't mean squat in the ring. Are you was surprised how fast did it go? My fight? Yeah. yeah, disappointed. Disappointed, definitely. No. Was it worth it? Yeah, of course it's worth it. It was also worth it for Long Island's Christine Bruno Sengallo, shiner and all. She took a close decision at 119 pounds over Ingrid Valentin of Starrett City, Brooklyn. I like the excitement. I like, I'm doing it to carry on my family name because my grandfather was a boxer. And um, he passed away, so I'm kind of doing it to keep it in the family. But how many of the women here plan to take their championship and do it for money professionally? None I spoke with. These women just want to fight in the Olympics. We have to convince the IOC to, to have women's divisions in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. I think that's the first step. One other female fight just ended uh, a few minutes ago tonight here at Paramount. Uh, Farmingdale, Long Island's 18-year-old Mickey Pryor won the 125-pound class with the decision over Manhattan's 31-year-old Jay Nidick. Also, tomorrow night concludes the championships here of the Golden Gloves Tournament. Uh, in addition to several more of the male bouts, there will be three more female championship bouts. Get used to it. Females fighting in the Golden Gloves right here. They're here, and it looks like they're here to stay. Reporting live from Madison Square Garden, Vince Dimitri, Channel 2 News. Oh, it's about time. About time. Why not? And Vince, what about the fans? How do they like it? Well, uh, the fans we talk to seem to love it. Uh, as long as the women are uh, in there and game, as we say here in the, in the fight game, they're game for a fight and willing to put it up. The fight fans don't care if it's male or female. All right. Thanks a lot, Vince.